Welcome, it's your friendly neighbourhood Badger here and I'm back for day number two of the City vs Slums Private League. Uh, for those of you who have been playing, thank you so much for playing once again and we're here for a day two update of my Fireball Miner. Now this character is going absolutely swimmingly as you may have seen at the beginning of the uh, video there on the, I think the second Conqueror that I did on this character. I pretty much one shot uh, the Conqueror with uh, Fireball Mines. So it's doing absolutely amazingly. Our gear is pretty nice at the moment. We've got a 5-link Sarav Shards and also 5-link Tremor Rod for single target. We do have a 5-link here, but we've got no real 5-link to put in. I'm probably going to fix something else there, I reckon. And then we're using like a Malachi's Arp Artifice for uh, Elemental Equilibrium. And then just got some other good stuff around here. Some Crit Strike, Crit Strike Multi over here. And uh, basically just Life and Resist on the rest of my gear. So it's looking pretty good. Uh, being on the city, uh, we are still ahead, as you can see, over on the left-hand side. 9,305 points to 8,900 points. It has been neck and neck for the entirety of the day. I've been playing close to 10 hours today. And uh, we've been 400 points between each other pretty much the whole day. Uh, I'm scared that when I wake up tomorrow uh, that uh, the... Uh, slums will be ahead but if you're watching this video right now basically I put this up right before I go live so you'll be able to watch day three if you're watching this video right as it goes live which is pretty awesome so if you want to come watch these shenanigans you definitely can do so what we're going to do right now with this character once again I'm just going to run another map for you I'm going to go into uh, a uh, Baran map actually here so this is a bone crypt and we're going to jump in so first of all you can see our massively nice explosions uh, that we do have here and a really really good clear. It would be a little bit better if this was an open map uh, but as you can see Sire of Shards fireball uh, with fork is absolutely astronomically amazing uh, for clear. It's really really uh, really nice. I did see the uh, seed cache over there but I'm not going to go over there just yet. We are probably going to die here because Baran mobs are kind of crazy sometimes. There we go. So we are in red maps and we are on sub 4k life so it's not the best basically I'm just trying to push as fast as I can to get as many crafts as I can for my entire team all right so we got the boss here so I'm gonna switch put down everything there stack up my mines and then we just uh, do a little bit of damage there and that should kill right there and we jump in and we see how much damage we do here we don't have our diamond flask if we stack up all of our mines put that down put that down we should then be able to get a little bit of damage on here. Wait for him to jump over to us. And that should hopefully be dead. Very close to dead. There we go. Not quite. There we go. Alright, so we'll pick up this uh, leather belt. Probably won't pick up the judgment. We don't really need that anyway. We'll see what's on that. Crit strike chance against shocked enemies. That's not too bad for us, but we're probably not going to be using that. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much how this build goes uh, here. Uh, we're slamming through the maps. We are at 53 out of 154 completion at the moment. Uh, but we did skip a lot of white maps, so we're right into the red maps. And we have a total of 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 14, uh, 15, 16 watchstones. So we only need uh, 4 more watchstones to be able to fight Cirrus. I was going to push it today, but I don't think I'm going to push it anymore. Usually when I do these videos live on stream, it does mean it is the end of the day. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be heading, uh, heading to bed and uh, playing some more tomorrow. Now, I know a lot of you are asking, can we join the league? Unfortunately, the league is uh, completely signed off, but because this league is being so much of a massive success, um, this is going to be planned for happening basically mid uh, Path of Exile League, uh, like the standard Path of Exile Leagues. It's gonna be happening, happening midway through there. And we're going to be doing a one week team versus team battle. Uh, the kind of... Uh, play um, that is coming out of this and the kind of uh, teamwork that's coming uh, out of everything that's happening is absolutely phenom phenomenal. As you can see, I have a global chat right here and it's constantly uh, going with people giving each other crafts and, uh, you know, within the city team and, and, and the uh, slums team has one like this as well, but we've got our own globals. It's absolutely crazy. Um, people just uh, asking and uh, basically... I don't think I've bought anything this entire time. I've given away so much stuff, and people have given so much stuff to me. It's been so much fun, and uh, honestly, just just so crazy. 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, all I really have to say with all of that. The last thing I will say is I am preparing a little secret here. Not really a secret, but I'm preparing for the uh, people on the city team my garden. So what I'm doing is I'm getting seeds from people on city, and I'm uh, trying to farm up my garden as quick as possible. Uh, usually uh, on day two, you wouldn't be this far in with your garden and getting, you know, all of your tier three, tier four seeds working. But uh, in about a couple of hours more gameplay, I'm going to be fighting tier four seeds. And then I'm going to be getting heaps of water crafting stations. I'm going to be getting everyone to give their seeds to me. I'm going to be farming all the seeds, being basically a uh, one-stop shop for crafts. I'm just going to be handing them out left, right, and center for all of the city folk. People on the slums team are not going to be so lucky. I'm going to charge an exorbitant, exorbitant fee uh, for uh, any sort of craft for them. I am going to stop talking now because uh, I'm getting really tired and uh, that's all I really have to say about this private league. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for being interested. Uh, if you didn't get in this time, as I said, there will be a next time, so uh, yeah. Uh, all links that will be needed, you know, path of building, I'm probably going to put it down below uh, as well. Uh, they'll be right down in the description there, but you know, chuck a subscribe if you're enjoying this content, enjoying this private league. Uh, we have five more days after this one for the private league uh, to see uh, who comes out on top. So yeah, it's going to be really exciting. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and until next time, Badger out.